Have a good one, Coach. Appreciate it. Hey guys, what's going on? This is uh, Mr. Riley coming to you live from the West Coast, the best coast, the West Side. And tonight, the West Side happens to be here at the stadium by the sea. So it looks like the boys are getting ready to uh, bust through our banner. I know our band is ready and it's about 11 minutes and 30 seconds away from kickoff. So welcome to all of you who are or who have joined and I'm trying to see if I can make this if I can make this live stream non-private. Now when I set up the live stream the other day I set it up as public. However, when I go live on Friday nights, I guess people are having uh, difficulty accessing the stream. But thank you for all two of you who are here right now. Obviously, you did not have any problems. But the simple solution is for folks to just subscribe to the YouTube channel, This Week in Pally Football. And once you are a subscriber, you should be, you should have access to the football game. So we'll see. So welcome, welcome to, to the Charter Bowl here at the Stadium by the Sea, where Palisades has won, I think, the last eight. The past eight Charter Bowl games. Last year, we did not play due to unforeseen circumstances in the Granada Hills area. There was a fire in the neighborhood and it created a bad air quality kind of situation for the football teams. So the game was not rescheduled and was not played last year. So we're just waiting. We have a slew of photographers here waiting for the boys to bust through the banner. And it's nine minutes and 26 seconds left to go. The boys are still hanging out and they need to come on over so they can uh, bust through the banner. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so they missed their cue. Better hurry it up. So I know in times past, some of the refs are really, really. Okay, let's go to the national anthem. Alrighty, so let me all right. Let me fill you in on the formality. I believe this is the voice. Bust the Banner song.
There they go. All righty. So this is the Charter Bowl, and normally the boys should be on the sidelines prior to the singing of, or the playing of the national anthem. So it will be very interesting to see if there is going to be any kind of consequence for not being on the sideline at the beginning of the game. Head coach, Coach Smith, and we have our captains. Our linesman, Eric Gaines. Our line judge, Tim Payne. And our back judge, Okay, so as you, you're, you're looking at this correctly, we have two of our captains who are out. We have two of our starters, our captains out. Evan Nirenberg on the far with the khaki pants. Number 14, he's out. Number 21, that's Matthew Spoonamore, one of our DBs. Then we have my man Braden Sanford, who's out on crutches right here, number 11. And then my man Roman Lascala, number 7, is our starting QB. Palisades is 6-0 at home and 5-4 on the road in the annual Charter Bowl. Last year, Palisades finished 10-4 and was a Western League runner-up and reached a city final for the third, third time in program history. This season, the Dolphins are 2-0 under their first-year coach, Dylan Smith, with home victories over El Camino Real and Roosevelt. Renata Hills finished 12-3 in 2022, was the West Valley League runner-up, and won the City Division I title. So White Hat is explaining the Highlanders are how Warriors they should uh, proceed if there's a penalty. The, the regular things, blue talks to blue, green talks to green. He's also asking the boys to watch their conduct on the field as well. Man, 34th year. <laughs> That's a long time. He's encouraging the boys to play hard and fair. Congrats on 34 years. Oh, thank you, brother. Awesome, awesome. What's thank your name? You. Michael Good. Michael Good? Okay. Uh, same here. I'm James. All righty. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so Michael Good is the white hat. He has been refing for 34 years. Pally will receive the ball. Patty will receive the ball first. Granada won the toss, and they have elected to get the ball, receive the ball in the second half. Thank you. 
All righty. So we already know what happens with the two-headed monster. You got 15 and 16. I'm sure Granada Hills did their homework this evening, and uh, maybe they'll kick it up to the one of the up backs. You got Jabari and number 28 over there. Let me see who number 28 is. Number 28 is Jaden Jolch. It's a cornerback fullback. Jabari's number one. Oh, yeah. They put it on the carpet. All righty. So we're going to keep it right about here. Pally will begin their first possession here in this annual Charter Bowl. I'm not too sure what number it is. But Pally will have the ball at the 35-yard line. There will be... Uh, looks like they're going to head towards the direction of the school. And it, depending on how you read directions over here at the Stadium by the Sea, to me, looks like they're going to be traveling north. And Granada Hills will have the ball the opposite direction, going south, headed back down towards Temesco. It's a beautiful night here. 12 minutes on the clock, beginning of the first half, first quarter. Roman. Jaden with the catch. Okay, so right off the bat, Roman, he surveys his offense, gets the ball out to Jaden Williams, number eight. Should be a first down for Pally. Roman takes a snap. He passes to his right. Incomplete pass. Hunter Holman was the intended receiver. Number 10 as he jogs off the field. This is going to be second down for Pally. Second to 10. Good job, Hunter. It's going to be a run right up the middle. He's still fighting. There you go. Nice run. Let's see if they're going to mark it close to a first down. Let's see. It's going to be a first down. Yes. Another first down. So two out of, two out of the three past plays have been first downs. Roman sets the offense. Checking. Looking at his reads, he decides to pass, a little side pass over to LaHenry Solomon, who gets loose. He's trying to get loose, and he's very close to a first down, probably short. I would say a second and about four. That's my estimate. So second and seven. I'm sorry, my eyes aren't that good. Roman surveying the defense. He's looking. He's looking to pass. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Trainer, trainer. All righty, so we have an injured player. Looks like a guy down uh, number one for Granada. He's down on the turf. And we have several members of our training crew going over to assist, as well as members of the Granada Hills training crew as well. It's a beautiful night here. Not too sure about the temperature, but it's a beautiful night for this annual Charter Bowl. As I said, Pally has won, I believe, the past seven or eight contests. And so last year, the Charter Bowl was not played. So we still have the trophy from uh, 2021 when it was played. It's 10.34 left to go in the first quarter. And they're still tending. Looks like might be a case of the cramps. I see one of the trainers over there kind of dancing around a little bit. Might be a case of the cramps. He's able to, uh, the player's able to kind of roll over 
a little bit. They're helping him up. Oh, yeah, he's fine. All right, so glad, so, so glad that you guys could tune in. Hopefully you did not have any problems accessing the uh, live stream. I know last week I had a situation with my mobile device here. So it's interesting. Let me just tell you my setup here as we wait for number one to uh, exit the field. I am using an iPhone 13 with a camera rig which basically stabilizes my iPhone. We're going live on YouTube and I have my rig mounted on, hey Cy Riley, I have my rig mounted on a monopod. So I'm trying to keep it as steady as I can. I was kind of encouraged to keep it steady because one of the family who watches says that I was too jerky last week. We go, Roman, he takes a snap. He's looking to pass up the middle. Oh, slightly high for number 12. Number 12 is Max, Max Hajazi. So I just want to shout out the Lawrences if you're watching. <laughs> We're trying to keep it steady for you guys, not only for you, but for everyone else watching the broadcast. So right now it's fourth and seven for the Dolphins. This is their first possession of the evening. Let's see if they can get a first down. Roman takes a snap. He's looking downfield. Oh, the ref was in the way. The ref. <laughs> it was like a legal screen right there. It kind of bounced off the ref. The Henry Solomon was the intended receiver. So this will be the first possession for the Granada Hills Highlanders. And I'm kind of glad that we're playing in the stadium by the sea this year normally we're out there in granada it's very very hot got that hot dry heat but now because we're at the stadium by the sea got that nice cool weather here we go number two with the carry and he's met by a whole bunch of dolphins a pot of angry dolphins number two now, just in case you didn't know, last year we faced Granada Hills Charter in the championship game. We were unsuccessful. However, they had a fabulous athlete, student athlete by the name of Dejan Stanley. He was a he yeah he was a track star in high school. I believe he won the 200, 200 meter race, state champion, I believe. I mean, just a load of speed. End up going over to uh, Utah, University of Utah. And so Granada runs this double wing T. And it's kind of shifty. It's kind of hard sometimes to find the, uh, the running back because with the double wing T, Granada Hills, they mostly run the ball. And so we're going to see a heavy dose of student body left, student body right up the middle, a little trickeration every now and again for the Highlanders. You will not see that many passes. Just like last week against Roosevelt, Roosevelt also operates the double wing T. We were successful last week and last week's game was more of a tune-up for this particular game this week. We know how potent Granada's offense is. We've seen it live and in action in our one contest last year. So the Pally football team, they've been practicing how to defend the double wing team, making sure that the running back is not going to get out and away. But going back to the Staley family, Daryl Darryl Stanley is number two. He is the cousin of Dejan Stanley, who graduated last year. So number two. So we'll see a heavy dose of running tonight on from Granada Hills. So it looks like it's first and 10. Is that Shane? Looks like Shane is being helped off. All righty. Oh, 
Okay, snap, takes a snap. Jesse Edis, number 45. He's in there. Jesse with the stop. I'm sorry, Roland Flynn. I saw a four. I just thought it was 45. Roland Flynn, number 42, with the tackle. Lost four yards, a tackle for loss. If I can use the football jargon. A TFL. Tackle for loss. It's going to make it third and 16. Let's see what the Highlanders are going to do. The defense is ready. Number two has the ball. And not quite. I believe he got back to the original line of scrimmage. He's going to make it fourth down and probably 10, fourth and 10. So kind of anxious to see what they're going to do. They're going to bring out, looks like they have their special teams out ready to punt number 16. So we'll keep it right here. Let's see if our punter, I believe that's number 16, LaHenry Solomon. That's not my boy. That's my nephew. <laughs> or I should say LaHenry, that's not my boy. That's my nephew, Solomon. Ready to return. Okay. The snap is... The snap was good, but the kick was awful. Out of bounds. So we're going to keep it right here. 839. No one has scored yet. 839 left to go in the first quarter. And we got my man Steve Galuzzo right there. You can follow Steve at Pally, Pally Post on Twitter. Wonderful statistician over here for the Palisades. I mean, athletic teams. You know it. I mean, if if it's a a record, Steve knows about it. All righty. So it's a little far away from the action. Second and ten for the Dolphins. So no gain on that particular play from the Dolphins. We're going to keep it right here. Let's see. Roman surveys the defense. He takes a snap. It's going to be a pass to Jade and Williams again. Hey, Noel. It's good to see you on here. Last week, I accidentally deleted your comment. I hope that didn't drive you away. But I was able to read your comment before I deleted it. So welcome to the broadcast. Roman, he's ready to pass. Oh, it's out of bounds. Reception out of bounds. Number 16, the Henry Solomon. So it's going to be a fourth and nine. Fourth and nine. A special shout out to Cy, Cy Riley, former Pally QB football player. He knows very well about this charter bowl. He played in three of them. So I have to tell you, Will and Jake are here. And uh, I was talking to Will earlier. Let it go. Out. Okay. So the ball went out of bounds probably around the 13 yard line, I believe. Let me see where the ref spots it. Uh, right at the 15 yard line. So as I was saying, uh, Cy was teammates with Will and Jake, Jake and Nelly. Will, Janae, and so they're here tonight. <laughs> Cy said he never, absolutely, you never lost. Um, that includes your older brother and your younger brother. His last charter bowl, he was unable to play because of the bad, healthy situation last year. So we want to keep it right here. Hopefully everything is clear for you guys. Hopefully you're hearing everything pretty well. All right, first and 10 for the Highlanders. Almost got him in the backfield. Okay, there we go. It's the TFL. So now the tackle for loss. Not too sure who that was. Maybe number three. Yep, 
Saxon Wald, number three. Saxon is a free safety. <laughs> Senior, 6'3", 175. Listen, when I was out here during the summer and I saw this guy, he was kind of a big dude. This, this has to be Saxon Wall. He was a big dude. I was like, okay, all right. So that was Saxon Wall with the tackle. We're trying to get Coach Smith snap. Run up the middle by number two, Daryl Stanley. Uh, Stan, Stanley, number two. Not quite a first down. He thought it was a first down. Not quite. Short. Probably a third and about a yard, maybe. So this ball might be ran right up together. Third and three for the Highlanders. Third and three. Let's see what happens. That's all they're going to do is run. Number 21, they could stop him. Let's see. Oh, yes. There's a flag going to play as well. So he was unable to get the first down. However, we have the dirty laundry on the field. So let's see what happens. There's Coach Smith right there in his first year, his third game, trying to, trying to go 3-1 and one on the evening. He was 2-0 and oh currently. Wins against El Camino Real the Royals, and the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Theodore Roosevelt, also known as the Rough Riders. So let's see what happens. Flag on the plate is still. Let's see what White Hat says. Holding on going down the hills. So going to decline. Okay, fourth down. Fourth down. So Pally wants to put some pressure on this punt. Number 16 is back, ready to receive the ball. Trying to draw somebody off. All righty. So let's see. It's a short kick or a short punt. Sorry. All righty. And I'm sorry that I don't have a drone to kind of fly over, give you those different perspectives like you see on uh, the NFL and college football. We're just one dude doing what he can to bring some attention to a local high school football team. So with 530 left to go in the first half, the contest is still scoreless, 0-0 zero, zero here at the stadium by the sea. Hey, Tony, absolutely. Welcome to the broadcast. Yeah, this is actually a blackout Friday, so they encourage all the fans, supporters, to if they're coming to the game, to wear black. Roman, he's back, looking to pass, and it was knocked down. Pass was knocked down. But yeah, every I love these blue blue unis. Uh, absolutely appreciate you, Noel. It's gonna be a pass to number 16, LaHenry. There you go. There you go. Is that LaHenry or Watson? Okay, I'm sorry, that's Terrell Watson. Terrell Watson, number 15. That's the uh, one of the heads of the two-headed monster. Or maybe a two-headed dolphin. I don't know. All right, here we go. 5.07. The clock is ticking. Roman takes the snap. Gives it to number 15, Terrell. That's going to be, oh, probably a second and four on that play. Four fifty to go. You know, I just, I just wish more of the action was like on this side of the field. Second and four, so you guys can get a much better look. But we'll see. We got a long way to go. 
It's going to be a tackle for a loss. Granada's defense snuffed that out. So that's a TFL. Yeah, AJ is over here. He's, he's down there. Let me see. There he is with, with the light blue visor on doing his thing. All righty. Four minutes and five seconds left to go. The clock is ticking. Third and nine. Roman looking to pass. It's a catch. It's a reception. It looks like he was pushed out of bounds rather violently. There's Max Hajaji. It's fourth and five. Fourth and five. Let's see what's going on. Maybe this is the field goal attempt. I'm not too sure. Field goal. Yes, I hear AJ saying field goal. So this is a ball is on a 25-yard line. So 25-yard, maybe 30. 42-yard. Okay, 42-yard attempt from Killing Ford. Oh, no. Not even close. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. So Steve Galuzzo is standing right next to me, and he's like, hey, this is a defensive battle so far. So it's 3.53 left to go in the first quarter. Um, Granada Hills will take the ball on the 25-yard line. Now, I also have to mention... I'll, men I'll mention what I was going to say after this uh, after this play. First and 10, 3.53 left to go. Go down the hills, they take the snap. It's going to be a handoff up the middle. Hey, Christopher, what's going on? That's the big unk. Family member, the Henry Solomon. Appreciate you guys watching from the High Desert. High Desert is located in uh, California. It's over there near Palm Springs and 29 Palms and where it's extra, extra hot. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Okay, third and 18. I'm sorry, 318 left to go. Second and eight. It's going to be another handoff. It's going to be a run. That's all they're going to do all night is run, run, run. So like Steve said, we have a defensive battle on our hands. It's going to be third and eight, looks like. Maybe, no, I'm sorry. Third and maybe one. Third and four. Okay. Third and four. I, I still haven't forget, forgotten about my thought that I was going to mention a few moments ago. I will. 245. Clock is counting. Hand off. There you go. There you go. Trying to see. I thought it was number three. I'm not too sure who that tackle was. Saxon Wall. That's the tall drink of water. Saxon Wall. So it's fourth and four. It looks like the special teams for Granada is coming back out. Now, what I was going to say a few moments ago is uh, for those of you who are family members and you want a slightly better quality, there is a streaming service at the school um, offers where you can watch the football games. However, there's no commentary. I believe if you sign up for it, you get the subscription. You can watch all of the Pally High sports for around 80 bucks, I believe. All right, nice punt. Let's see. I believe LeHenry's backing up. Yeah, he stayed away. Okay, so he tried to stay away from it. It took a crazy bounce. I think it hit one of the returners. Fortunately enough, Pally is able to uh, fall on the ball and we'll have it. So yeah, um, I forgot the name of the service. But yeah, it's like National High School something something or another. All right, so let's see if we can go down a little bit and see what's going on. Absolutely, Tony. I love the commentary. Roman is looking. Ah, incomplete pass. Nobody was home. 
It was an incomplete pass. It was not a fumble. It was an incomplete pass. So Roman was scrambling. He was looking for somebody. I guess someone should have been where they weren't. And so it looked like a fumble, but it was indeed a pass by Roman. So it's an incomplete, incomplete pass. It stops the clock at 144 left to go. Uh, we're still at 0-0 zero, zero here at the Stadium by the Sea. I am your host, Mr. Riley, or Facebook James, whatever you prefer to call me. However, I figured since we're on YouTube, let's make it a little bit more professional. I don't want to be called Facebook James on YouTube, so we'll just keep it Mr. Riley. Second and 10. Roman takes a snap. He's looking to pass. He comes over. Oh, it's a fumble. And, oh, looks like Granada might have the ball. Yes. Granada might have the ball. Let's take a walk. There you go. What up, sir? How you doing, man? I'm doing well. All righty, so we got some action. It's a little bit closer over here to the to the camera. 133. So there was a fumble on the play, bounced around a little bit. Pally thought they had it, and then Granada was ultimately fell on the ball. All right, here we go. He takes the snap. It's going to be a run by the QB, right up the middle. So they have a whole bunch of different looks on the offense. They meaning the Highlanders. The QB at times will pretend like he's going to dish it off, either hand it off to one of the uh, running backs. But in this case, in this case, he decided to keep it and ran right up the middle. So a short gain, just two yards, second and eight. 103 left to go, and clock is still ticking here late in the first quarter. Now, I'm going to say it's, there will probably be less than five passes, less than five pass attempts from Granada Hills. Oh, there's a pass attempt, and it's incomplete. See, I just said it. I called it just in time. I called it just in time. Okay, so that's one of, one of five that I'm saying. He's going, to, he's going to throw less than five times. What's up, Steve? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. What, were you were you surprised about that play? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah. I don't think they threw a single pass all last season. <laughs> all right, so that was their first pass and, attempt. And, and frankly, it looked like they hadn't thrown any. Yeah, play. absolutely. Nobody in the yeah, nobody. So Steve Galuzzo from the Palisadian Post is just commenting. You know, it looks like their QB didn't have anyone to throw to. So a third and eight. Forty-two seconds. It's going to be a handoff. Coming over here. There we go. All right. There we go. So we got some dirty laundry right there. And there was probably a hold. Got a hold. Let's see what the uh, white hat says. Ref's been around for 34 years. I forgot his name. I believe his first name is Michael. Michael Good? I believe that's what he said. Holding. Offense. So they're going to have to back that thing up. <laughs> back that thing up. Probably about 10 yards or so. They're going to back that thing up. Remind me uh, between quarters to kind of clean my lens a little bit. All right, so they backed it up. Ball is on the 20, 27-yard line. There we go. Third and, that, third and eight, sorry. 30 seconds and counting. Looks like the Highlanders might be taking their time coming out of the huddle. So let's see. You might hear Coach Loftus. 
If you're familiar with Pally football, you know who Coach Loftus is. Big, booming voice here at or in the stadium by the sea. So six seconds. They're probably not going to have time to. Oh, they, they are. Okay. Number one has the ball, and he's brought down for a loss. So it's going to make it four. So that will start in 12. It's going to make it third and something else. I'm sorry, fourth and something else. Matthew Spoonamore. We call him Spoon for short number 21 right there. So we're still here. Scoreless at the end of the first half, which is uncommon. It's uncommon for some of these Palisades football games here. Uh, definitely this season we've had several scores during the first quarter. But right now it's tied double zero. Okay, so we have the beginning of the second quarter. We're tied here at the stadium by the sea. If you're just joining, we thank all 32 of you who are watching right now. Hopefully you did not have any problems hopping on the, the live stream tonight. I know I didn't have any problems. And if folks are having problems, just encourage them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for those of you who are watching right now, I see two people who have already hit that like button. Go ahead and squeeze, mash, push that thumbs up. Let's get a little bit more interest. Let me know that you're here. Let me know that you appreciate what we're doing tonight here at the Stadium by the Sea in the annual Charter Bowl. So we're waiting for the refs on the opposite sideline to get it together. They have a Small conference over there. Not too sure what it's about. The boys are ready. Mr. CIF. Yes, how you doing? Real good. What's your name? Dick. Dick. James. I always see you posting yes. the helmet shots. <laughs> Not so much today because there's no emblems on it. <laughs> We're the logo. I know. That's, I'm going to have to ask Coach about that. Absolutely. Okay, so... All right, I think we're ready to play. Beginning of the, let's see. Oh, I guess they're trying to clarify. Somebody call a timeout? Yep, timeout on the play, okay. So they're just trying to figure it out. <laughs> Spoon is talking about, hey, show the clip, run the clip back. I believe there is a, some kind of situation with the tripping going on. So they're just trying to clarify and get everything straight so that we can continue with this contest. But yeah, so I was talking to uh, the gentleman a few moments ago, and uh, he's always famous for posting his helmet pictures Help, pictures of the helmets of the opposing teams at different contests uh, around LA around LA or uh, LA City section that's what I wanted to say LA City section so he was like hey there's no emblems there's no mascots on the helmets everything is blank I'm like absolutely okay so it looks like it's fourth and 15 for the Highlanders Fourth and 15, they got it straightened out. Looks like we're ready to play ball. And we're gonna keep it right here. Defense, 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 defense. 
Interesting to note, if you're watching, you will not see a receiver on the Highlanders. Okay. I like when it's close and I can see. All right, there's another pass. There you go. Okay, so that's two. No one was over. No one was over there. Nobody. I mean, nobody was over there for that reception. And so far, you know, it's been really, really crazy. Every time I've talked about Granada Hills throwing a pass, just before the pass play happens, it ends up being a pass. But yeah, and just when I said that there's no receiver, I guess there was a receiver on that play. I don't know, I couldn't see it, on, it was on the opposite side of the field. So here we go, first and 10 for the Dolphins. Roman and the boys are ready. 11.56 left to go. And we're just gonna keep it right here. I'm trying to keep it a little steady, steadier for the Lawrence family who is watching. <laughs> they're Pally football supporters, and I believe they're Jake Tribeck's neighbors. So thank you, Lawrence family, for watching. Roman looks to pass. The Henry Solomon, oh, he dropped the ball. So we're going to move down just a little bit so I can get a better point of view. Right next to you, baby. All right, here we go. Roman. Checking out the defense. He's looking to pass. He's rolling to, ro rolling to his right. Tyler, number 44. Tyler Saul with the reception, number four, 44. Now we're missing number 11. Number 11 is out with a foot injury. So Braden Sanford, number 11, he's not playing tonight. So next man up. Here we go. First and 10 for the Dolphins. Roman. There you go. All righty, we're gonna take a, take a brief walk. Behind you, McLean. <laughs> Hello, you good? All right. 10.52 left to go in the first half. Yeah, second and five. <laughs> Roman, reading the defense. He's looking to pass. Little... Okay. Okay, so I, I believe I saw some dirty laundry. There might be a the pass play might be coming back. Let's see. Coach looks kind of upset about the call. I'm trying to figure out what White Hat is doing. I think he had number 11. Told him to get off the field. So we're trying to figure this whole thing out. I really couldn't see bad vantage point for me. The play occurred on the opposite side. So let's see what White Hat says. <laughs> Holding. Pally. Holding. We've got two holds. Second down. Okay. Okay, so two holding plays. Now, I heard a chorus of oohs and ahs. I'm going to have to go back and check the replay and see what those were for. All right, second and 15. 1025 left to go. Roman. 
It's a pass. Karen Smith, thank you for watching. Goal number two. Now, Karen Smith. Number two plays defense. But I got it. I got it. You just saying, hey, goal number two. Got you. Right now, the offense is on the, on the, on the field. Third, third and 15. I'm just joking with you. So you're rooting for Isaiah Sensenball. I haven't caught his name tonight. Third and 15. Romans looks. He wants to pass. Okay. Pass was caught. However, not enough. So fourth and seven for the Dolphins. Now you can root for number two. Now you can root for him. I need to call his name. Jesse. Who is that holding call? I don't know. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that shit. All right, here we go. So the punt team is on for Pally. That's a nice punt. There we go. All righty. So with 9-16 left to go in the first half, the score is still, is still zero. Tied up at zero. Good kick, 3-0. Good kick, baby. All right, let me move down to the tab. All right, here we go. So first and 10 for the Highlanders. The ball is on the seven yard line. So if you can do quick math, that's about 93 yards to uh, the end zone. 9-16, Pally's on defense, Granada is on offense. And let's see what they're gonna cook up. But I think you already know. Number two, little Wildcat. There you go. It was a direct snap to number two. Nero Staley, Stanley. Uh, a run for three yards. So the ball is on the 10 yard line right now. 8.50 left to go. Clock is running. Absolutely. There you go. Thank you, Karen. Direct snap to number two. Looks like number three has the ball. There we go. Isaiah right there, number two. Defense stop. The ball came out. It's going to be third and probably about five. Third and about five, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, third, sec, I'm sorry. Yeah, third and three. <laughs> third and three. 801 left to go in the first half. And we thank you guys for watching tonight. I know that you guys could be doing a plethora of things. Watching Disney movies or catching some other sports activity. Thank you for hanging out with us on a Thursday night. Number two. Kept the snap, so direct snap, the, direct snap again. And let's see. They're going to check the spot and see if it is a first down. He might be short. It's going to be fourth down. So fourth down and one, fourth and one, fourth and short. Fourth and short. So let's see. Let's see if the Highlanders try to draw the Dolphins offsides. They only need one yard for the first down. 
to stack the box. Oh, that's offsides, number 17. Offsides, number 17. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that, McLean, huh? Uh, <laughs> so that was offsides of number 17. But what I'm laughing at is Matthew Spoonamore, uh, Matthew Spoonamore's dance, number 21. If you don't watch it, he's going to get a flag. All right, so the ball is going to stay. Let's move down closer. All righty. Fourth and six. Still trying to draw sides. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, he come this way. Come this way. You got some blockers. Come this way. That's going to be a touchdown. 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 Way to go. Way to go, nephew. Way to go, nephew. There you go. That's not my son. That's my nephew. Number 16, LaHenry Solomon. Good run back. It bounced on the carpet for a hot second. He picked it up. He does that very often. He'll let it bounce. Kind of lull the defense to sleep. He'll pick it up. He has amazing speed. For a 14 year old. Just thought I should say that. Sophomore Henry Solomon. We're going to keep it right here. The ball is on the 14 yard line. And there has been a timeout that's been called. Water Girls! What up, y'all? How you feeling? Hey, so this is Thursday Night Football, so you're probably asking, why is it Thursday Night Football? Well, within the school district here at LAUSD, we, um, we honor or observe. That's a better, better word. We observe Admissions Day, so that's actually going to happen tomorrow. So that means all of LAUSD is closed, and, you know, we can't have football games on a closed day. So it's a holiday basically for LAUSD. And then Monday is Labor Day. So we get Friday off and Monday off. So Friday is Admissions Day. And if you know what Admissions Day is, type it in the comments before I tell you. First and 10. There we go. There's a flag. So if you know what admissions is, there's White Hat with the notification right there. So it's going to move the ball up. I got you, ref. Oh, okay. All righty. There we go. All right, Roman. Surveying the defense. Oh, Jaden, number eight. <laughs> Last week, Jaden had an amazing one-handed catch. And so he uh, actually caught the first play for Pally tonight. And so that pass was incomplete to Jaden Smith, number eight. Come on, Jaden. Needs you to catch this one. And I like your comments, Cy. Reward number 16. Absolutely. So here we go. Second and five for the Dolphins. Roman. There you go. Touchdown. Touchdown. That's Saxon Wall. Saxon Wall. Saxon Wall, number three. I like that. Roman Lascala to Saxon Wall. As I said a few moments ago, Braden Sanford is uh, he's out, injured, got a foot situation going on, and uh, we need some folks, you know, next man up kind of mentality. So number three, Saxon Wall, absolutely. Mixed music box, I totally agree. Let's go with Kellen Ford. 
<laughs> All righty. So that is a good PAT. A good PAT. So Pally is up seven to nothing with 555 left, left to go in the first half of the contest, this annual Charter Bowl. Let's catch some of the cheerleaders. Yeah, yeah. I give the uh, cheerleaders a, a hard time sometimes only because my baby girl is on the uh, cheerleading squad. So she's been for a couple of weeks. This is her first night back in action as a part of the uh, cheerleading squad. So shout out to my baby girl, Samaya Riley. <laughs> All right, here we go. Enough with the pleasantries, the family pleasantries. Pally is looking to kick the ball. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a little pooch, little pooch kick. They must have some uh, some some dudes who can go too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the flag. I see a flag. Oh man, that was kind of sick. Do I see a flag though? Oh yeah, yeah. I see a flag. It's coming back. It's coming back. <laughs> it's coming back. It's right over there next to the 30 yard line. There's a yellow thingy. Unless it's on Pally. Well, let's see. I'm trying to see where White Hat is. He got a flag. Did they, did they pick up the flag? What's up? Let's see what happens. Uh, um, it was, yeah, it was a lot of yards. Let me see. I don't, I don't know exactly. I would say the ball was probably around the 20, the 15 to 20, so maybe 80. But there's a flag on the play. Yeah. So let's see what White Hat says. Face mask. Oh, against Pally. So it's gonna, so it's gonna stand. Touchdown will stand. So we'll just stay right here. So Daryl Stanley. Okay, so two point conversion is no good. So right now we're standing at seven to six here at the stadium by the sea. Six, the and yeah, so that was a face mask on Pally, so they allowed the touchdown. But uh, Daryl was twisting and turning on that one. But yeah, he is related to uh, Dejan Stanley, the guy who just ran up and down on down us last year in that championship football game. So I'm going to keep it here in hopes of one of our returners can uh, get the ball and bring it back close to where I am or where we are because you're watching with me. Bring it back to us. I did see uh, number 16, LeHenry, kind of walk off the field a few moments ago, kind of limping a little bit, so I don't think he's in. Looks like I see 15 and number 33 back there ready to receive the ball. So it's going to be up. Uh, okay, okay. There we go. Okay. So the ball kind of bounced around on the carpet just a little bit. One of our returners was able to get it and make some positive yards on that particular play. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Dolphins. All right, so we're going to keep it right here. Let's see if Pally can make something happen. So just like that, Pally is up by one point, seven to six. 536 left to go in the first half. 
First and 10 for the Dolphins. Roman and the boys. Roman is checking out the defense. Reading his routes. He's looking to pass. Hunter. Hunter Holman, I believe, intended to receive number 10. And there is somebody who is on the carpet. Take a knee, take a knee. Take a knee, take a knee. Take a knee. Heaven, go, go, go. go, go. Oh. oh, come back. All right, so we got our boys taking a knee. And it looks like it's an injured Pally player. Injured Pally player, they're tending to him. And it looks like, uh, looks like it might be a leg injury. It could be just a bad case of cramps. We've seen several players, even during the JV game, um, display some fatigue and some cramps. So I don't think it's serious. I think that's uh, number 77, Dylan, stretching him out. Oh, okay. Got you. Thank you, 7-4. All right, so they tried to get up, get the player up, but he's unable to right now. You're Liam Hudson? Okay, all right. I got my handy dandy chart right here. So I can tell who the players are. All right, guys, so, um, so far, okay, he's able to get up. All right, there we go. So he's probably gonna need some assistance with, uh, from Dylan. So he's exiting the field, so that's a good thing. That's a good sign, good sign. Yeah, he's just walking like it's cramps. So hopefully he'll be able to get back and do what he needs to do. Coach AJ is encouraging Kellen Ford. All right, here we go. So we're gonna keep it right here. Second and 10. Second and 10 for the Dolphins. Roman takes a snap. Pass. It was the reception. It's gonna be close to a first down. It is a first down. A little bit more than the first down. No, you good, AJ. So this Jaden Williams, number eight, with the catch. So they just moved the six a little bit. So let's see what happens. 5.15 left to go. Roman takes a snap. Looks like it was bobbled a little bit. Nobody was here. Ouch, the ball hit me. Incomplete pass. I believe he's trying to throw the ball to me, you guys. But I can't catch the ball. I'm not eligible to play. I don't think you want to see a 52-year-old, no, 53-year-old. I forgot how, how old I am. Okay, so that stops the clock at 4.51. It says second and 10, so it must be second and 10. If you're just joining us, Pally is up by 1.76. Roman takes a snap. All righty, Terrell. Incomplete pass to Terrell Watson. There's Braden right there, trying to coach up his teammates from the sideline. So it's third and 10. Again, the clock is stopped at 4.47 up to go. And let's see what Roman and the boys can uh, come up with on this particular play. He takes a snap, he's looking. A little jump pass, incomplete. Right near the stick. 
Terrell Watson is, was the intended receiver. So the Dolphins were unable to get any unable to get any uh, <laughs> Brett is hanging out over here on the sideline. He missed his assignment. Don't fucking talk to him. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nice. Nice boot. And it's going to go out of bounds probably around the 25 yard line. So let's. Boot the sticks. At the higher. Next week. All right, so here we go. Four thirty six left to go. Seven to six here at the annual Charter Bowl. Daryl. There's going to be a flag. Flags all the way around. There are flags on the play. So false start, the looks like. False start against the Highlanders. Five yard penalty will bring the Allen Hills back to their own 20 yard line. Still first down. Alrighty, so that stops the clock, 4.33. It's been kind of a, a lazy second quarter. Even though we had two scores, it's just kind of drawing out a little bit. Uneventful. Run by number two up the middle. Looks like he has gained about, ran for about 10 yards, so it's gonna be maybe a third and five maybe. I'm sorry, second and six. Ball is on the 20, 29 yard line, 405 left to go. Takes a snap. It's going to be a pitch. Pitch off. Number Is that number two? Yep. That's number three. And he's gone to the races. Okay. Coach Jeremy's kind of hot. No one was on that side to able to stop him. But it's, it's still early in the game. It's still early in the game. Now, since I'm here, the JV lost today to Granada Hills. The JV game, I believe, um, they were up 21 to 8 and then ended up winning, I'm sorry, losing 38 or 36 to 21, I believe. Now, usually what happens at this point in the game, the boys become a little disappointed which they really shouldn't because it's been mostly a defensive defensive game. So we're going to stay right here, and then we'll move down closer so we can see if they're going to go for the two points. Yeah, they're going for the two points. Number 16 keeps the ball, and looks like he is able to get in. No? Let's see. No, no. No good. Okay, so let's go back. Come on, Jenny. We need you, buddy. I 
Take a knee, take a knee, take a knee. All right, so they're attending to a fallen pally player. We're three minutes and 31 seconds away from halftime. And right now the current score is 12 to seven. Granada Hills on top so far. The boys have to really be careful not to get upset, disappointed at the score. There's still a lot of football to be played. In fact, 24 minutes left to play. What I really hope would happen on this particular possession, the boys go down and get a good scoring drive. I think that's gonna boost morale a little bit. Now, I know we have some of our weapons who are uh, not playing tonight out on the, on the sidelines. Um, we mentioned Number 11, Braden, he's out uh, on the defensive side. Evan Nirenberg, he's out. And I believe I saw uh, uh, LeHenry Solomon, I believe he's out as well. See, his, see him with his pads off. So usually when guys take their pads off, that means they're done for the night. So uh, hopefully number 15, Terrell Watson. I um, haven't seen a whole bunch from um, Harrison. Harrison tonight, number 31. Hopefully they can get him going. Harrison Carter, number 31. We haven't seen um, Shiloh Beavers as well. So we do have a running game as well. It hasn't been executed tonight. So maybe the boys can uh, get on board and do what they need to do to get some positive gains and boost morale a little bit going into halftime. So I can't see who this is. I should know because I recognize the shoes. I think that's number 74. And I was just talking to Liam. Let me see. I was taking some video of his shoes earlier. Earlier tonight, so. Oh no. So let's see who it is. They're still tending to him. He's sitting up. It might be a, another leg injury. Okay, yeah, number two. Okay, I just want to make sure. All right, so when he sat up, I did see number two. So that's Isaiah Sensabaugh walking off. Might have had the wind knocked out. I don't know. Looks like he's okay. I see a smile, I think. I think I see a smile. All right, just shaking up a little bit, so. So hopefully he'll get back in there, get out some time to rest up, and uh, definitely need my man Isaiah, number two. Hey, Cy, Isaiah's wearing the same number you wore. Anybody who wears number two is a bad person. Yeah. Yeah, there was a couple of them who wears the Jordans, uh, the dunk. So let's see. Oh, nice hit. All righty. So that was 31. Harrison Carter. So we just called Harrison's name a few moments ago. Now we just need for the boys to go ahead and... Uh, Gain some yards. Yeah, Isaiah, he's sitting up. Maybe trying to catch his breath. All righty, 225. Man, 225 left, left to go in the first half. It seems like we've been at this pace for a long time. Alrighty. 
kind of right parallel to the line of scrimmage. Roman, it's a bad snap, bad exchange. Not on Roman's side. So we got a false start on the offense, false start. Hey, life of Skeet. The score is seven to 12, seven to 12. Seven to 12, Granada Hills. First and 15. Absolutely, Tony. Need a big play right here. So it's third. Ten receiver. Intended receiver is uh, Saxon Walt. So I'm sorry, it's second and 15. Second and 15 for the Dolphins. We need some big plays. We need something to happen right here, right now. Right here, right now, Dolphins. Let's go. Let's go get it. That incomplete stops the clock at 317. Left to go in the first half. Roman, he looks. He's rolling. He, he's running. He's trying to juke. And he got down got brought down from behind. So it's third and... I'm going to say third and five. They have third and 12 on the scoreboard. I know it's not third and 12. Maybe third and eight. Roman. There we go. That's going to be a first down. So, getting a little chippy, 222 left. That is a first down. Temper's kind of getting out of hand a little bit. Temper's getting out of hand a little bit. Maybe this can uh, help the Dolphins, help the Dolphins get some, uh, get down there close to the uh, end zone. So we'll see. We'll see what White Hat says. Might be some offsetting penalties, maybe. Coach Smith is trying to check out what the referees are talking about, what they're discussing. That was a nice game. I see several flags. Three of them in the area of the infraction. I have one over here near the line of scrimmage. So let's see what White Hat says. Holding. Holding. Defense. Holding. Offense.
Okay, so the ref right here just told 44. I guess it was unsportsmanlike conduct on the field. He said, uh, check it out, Tyler Saul. If you don't get it together, I'm going to throw you out. That's what he just said. So something happened within the play that caused him to throw all these flags, and that's why we're sitting here still at 222 left to go in the first half. So we're going to move down. We're going to try to move down. But, again, hopefully this can motivate the offense to, uh, to block, to catch, to run, and gain some positive yards so that we can close out this first half. As we're waiting for this play to happen, as we're waiting for this play to happen, they're waiting for a ball. There we go. Okay, as we're waiting for this, for them to sort out everything, the ref says half the distance. While, while we're waiting, go ahead and hit that that like button if you can I see about seven of you have already hit that like button I appreciate you guys coach Smith and the boys are trying to get something going before the end before halftime before the beginning of halftime and then what's gonna happen Granada Hills, Granada Hills will have the ball first after halftime. Dylan is out. So it looks like the ref has been refing for 34 years, just kicked out number 77. Don't know if he's out for the rest of the game or for the rest of this half. But the players have to get their emotions under control. This is an emotional game. They have to get their emotions under control. So it's third and 12 for the Dolphins. Roman is looking. Incomplete. Incomplete. After all that incomplete pass, 207 left to go in the first half. Now we have a fourth and 17. Thank you guys for hitting that like button. I appreciate you. I'm sorry this hasn't been that eventful of a game like it has in the previous two games. But some days you'll have a defensive battle. Some days you'll have a defensive battle. Some days you'll have an offensive battle. Some days it'll be a runaway game. Some days it'll be a tight game. Okay, let it go. Let it. All righty. Nice boot. I believe it's probably near the 50 yard line. We're going to keep it right here. Pally's on defense. We'll move up just a tad. All right, here we go. 158 left to go in the first half. Seems like we've been here forever in the day. It's first and 10 for the Dolphin, uh, for the Highlanders. Hey, culture! Hey, you got timeouts. 
Okay, Matthew Spoonamore, number 21 with the tackle. Second and five. Renata gained five yards on that play. That's going to be a loss right there. Yeah, this is a very emotional game, and the boys have to uh, control their emotions. They have to listen, listen to the referees. When the whistle is blown, the whistle is blown. End of play. Not let it spill over into extracurricular activities. So we're a minute and 25 seconds away from halftime. I believe we have several we have several timeouts, so this is the first one that we burn, I believe, in this half. It's third and five for the Highlanders. Now, when we come back at halftime, hopefully the boys will be fired up, ready to go. To, you know, this game is not lost. They're just down by five points. Hopefully they can uh, get some, um, gain some momentum. But right now we need a good defensive stop. And then if we have time to make a play before the end of before the end of the first half, great. But the Highlanders will receive the ball after halftime. They won the coin toss and they elected to defer until the second half. Third and five. 125 left to go in the first half. Number two takes the snap. He keeps it. He's running. And he's still running. No one is able to bring him down. All righty. So again, with 1.15 to have to go, in the first half, we have another player down. I was talking to uh, Steve Galuzzo from the Pali Post a few moments ago, and you know he brought us some concerns about the field. I don't know if the field continues. Absolutely, Christopher. I don't know if the field is um, helping with these guys being fatigued and getting cramps. It looks like that's what it might be. Injuries are part of the game, and so we have a you know couple, couple of guys down on the uh, training table. But uh, we were talking about the turf, and sometimes the turf can be very slippery. Uh, so you know, I call it the the turf monster. If it works in our favor, you know, we'll take that, right? Um, if players are slipping on the opposing teams, we'll take it. If they're falling as they try to advance the ball, we'll take it. However, the same turf monster can work against the home team as well. So, you know, hopefully they can get this wonderful field that's been here probably about five years now. Get it patched up and ready so folks won't slip as often as they do. Not saying that the gentleman on the field slipped, but I just figured I'd mention that as a talking point in tonight's broadcast. So again, it's another Pally player. I'm not too sure who it is. I'm trying to see if they're playing, or not playing, they're messing around with the lower extremity. There's Isaiah Sensiball. So he's back in. So he's good. And I can't tell who that helmet belongs to because there's no number. One of their trainers was like, I got another helmet. I got another helmet. So they're falling. They're falling down like flies. And Jabari Williams, number one, who's one of our returners. Man. Okay, Jabari, he's up. He's walking. Another Ankle injury. So these ankle injuries could be because of the turf. Our guy slipping. Their guy slipping. Hey, Savior. Uh, the score is 12 to 7. 12 to 7. 
Very defensive game. Granada is up by five points. We score, scored earlier in the second quarter. And then the ensuing possession, Granada came back, I believe, on a kick return, went down and scored as well. So number three for Granada has the ball. He turned the corner. It looks like he stopped. It's going to be a... Probably a gain of five yards, maybe. Yeah. So second down for the Highlanders, probably second and five. 47 seconds left to go. They're definitely trying. Okay, maybe somebody called a timeout. Let me see. Maybe that was a ref's timeout. All right, here we go. It's going to be a run. Come on, come on, Isaiah. Get the ball. There you go. He was able to strip it out. I saw you, Isaiah. I saw you. There you go. Pally has the ball. Pally has the ball. Awesome, awesome play by Isaiah Sensiball. He had his paws on that ball. He was tugging at it. So we have 31 seconds. Maybe this can help Pally. There you go, Isaiah. Way to go. Way to bounce back. <laughs> he was so happy. He tossed. He threw the ball down on the ground. Ref was like, wait a minute. Uh, can you get that thing back to me? I need the rock in my hands, not on the ground. So we have 31 seconds. Isaiah, he wheeled that play right there. He's like, look, you're not going anywhere else. There you go, Karen. So 31 seconds left to go. Hopefully, Pally, let's see what kind of formation they have. I think they're just content with going into... <laughs> the inner two was coming out, absolutely. So it looks like Pally is going to settle for uh, going into. Got to pick them heads up. Pick them heads up. Pick them heads up. Pick them heads up. Come on, Saxon, we need you, baby. Pick them heads up. Pick them heads up. Let's go, fellas. All right, guys, so end of the first half. It took forever in a day, but we made it. Uh, Pally is down by five points. The score is 7-12. to 12. Granada is up by uh, five points. And so, so yeah, so uh, the boys are going to rest. We got several guys on the table. Looks like Jabard. We got uh, Johnny. Uh, we have our dance team coming out. We have Evan Nirenberg is out. We have... Braden uh, Sanford is out, so hopefully the boys can get it together, come back, and put it all together so that they can come out victorious tonight on this wonderful Charter Bowl night. So, with that being said, there's a link. Uh, hopefully you, you can access it again. We'll come back in about 15 minutes, well, about 12 minutes or so. I'm going to rest my voice. Uh, yeah, I'm going to rest my voice a little bit. You guys come back in about uh, 12 minutes, all right? So this is Mr. Riley. Signing off from the West Coast, the best coast, the West Side. But tonight, the West Side is over here at the Charter Bowl. Where Palisades is down by five points. Granada Hills is winning 12 to 5. So I'll see you after halftime. Peace.